Okay, good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I am great. It's Friday. I know. Good. Let's get right into this. This is a content planning session. Uh, it's different than a lesson plan. I just want to focus on exactly what you're going to be teaching the students, um, not necessarily um, how they're going to learn, but I want to know like what you're actually going to teach them. Okay, so why don't we why don't we dive into this? What content are you going to be focusing on for the le uh, for the lesson? Um, we are going to be on working on author's purpose, um, text structure, and even some text features. Okay. While reading. All right. Um, is there? Are you using any materials? Are you handing them anything out? Putting anything in Google Classroom for them? So in Google Classroom, I had put um, C Palms. We're going to use C Palms. It's more interactive, so it gives them something to do um, while we're going through the reading. And I'm also going to use a new Promethean board. So when we get to the questions that they have um, on C Palms, the kids could come up and drag and drop questions. Oh, good. Okay, I was going to ask you that as well. Um, so the C Palms, just to be clear, that focuses on the specific benchmarks. Yes. Okay, good. Um, what are the most important things that you want the kids to understand? I want them to understand there's a difference between author's purpose and text structure because they seem to get them mixed up a little bit. Okay. How, how do they get how do they get them mixed up? I'm not sure. When I asked the question, you know, give me some examples of text structure, they were giving me purpose and um, I was like, no, not really a purpose. But they were giving me the pie. Okay. Yeah. So you you so this gets into what they already know. So you were actually trying to find out some previous knowledge right. before getting into this. Right. And they were looking at it more as the author's purpose of, um, you know, entertain, inform, persuade. They were not looking at it as cause and effect, problem and solution. They kind of get the two mixed up. Okay. Why, why, is it, um, why is it important to know the purpose? Why do you want them to know that? They need to know why an author is actually writing. Okay. I mean, they have, he has an intent that he wants his reader to understand. Um, if they can't figure out what his purpose is, they're just reading words on a page. Okay. And that's, that's connected with features and text structures. Right. So when the, the author puts a picture with a caption or bold words, there's a reason for it. Okay. And can't just gloss over it and just be like, oh, okay, look, there's a nice pretty picture and then move on. Okay. So the key concept would be the, to know why, why the author's saying what they're saying, why they've included certain features right. and structures. Okay. Um, so you, you talked about kind of asking them what they knew. Um, what is important for them to know before coming into this? They should have some background. I know like elementary school, even like sixth grade, They've learned about author's purpose. For some reason, it just doesn't connect. Um, I am big on background knowledge. I need to know what they know so we know we can move forward because we can't start up here if they don't have the basis down here. Okay. And is that an important part of content for you, making sure you really um, ask them and try to figure out what they already know? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. If they don't know the basics, you can't teach them you know, more content. It's just piling on stuff that they're not going to connect. Okay. So we have ex exactly what you're teaching them. Uh, you have the materials, the important things, the purpose, the structure, the features, mm -hmm. getting into the, the background knowledge. H how would you, like, how would you, if you had to break it all down into parts, the okay. content into parts, how would you do that? Name what the content into parts. Uh, I guess the, um, the the purpose, if you had to like break it up into smaller sections for them, is there a way that you would break the content down? Well, I, well I'd definitely break it down. I mean, I wouldn't throw all of it at them at once. Okay. Um, we start with author's purpose. Okay. I mean, that is, you need to know why somebody is writing. And then once we, you know, have a good foundation of that, then we go to how they structure their words. Okay. And then we add in the text features. Awesome. So it is broken down into three different parts. That explained it really well for me too. Thank you. That no, was that no was problem. good. Um, so we we always have objectives. How will you present the objectives to the class? So I have it on the board. Okay. Every day I have it on the board. Okay. Um, and I refer to it okay. as I am teaching. 
So, I mean, this objective um, explain how individual text sections and or features convey a purpose in the text. I will constantly go back to that. Okay. And I will be like, okay, how does this text, you know, what purpose is it conveying to you? Okay. And they'd be like, okay. So, so just keep referring back to it. You'll constantly go, go through it. Mm -hmm as a lesson Absolutely. goes on. And you have it on the board, you have it on your, your other board. Yep, it's everywhere. Did they notice it? No, no they don't. <laughs> but that's why you keep referring. That's why you keep referring to it. Keep referring back to it, good. So as you're going through this content, uh, through, through the lesson, through the class, how are you going to know that they're understanding this? Well, through the CPOMs, they have like little practice sessions. Um, so I know when I answer those questions because it tells them if they're right or wrong right away. Um, and as I'm walking around, I can see who's right, who's wrong, when they come up to the board, who's doing the right. Good. So I'm like visually looking at what they are doing. So you can you I can, monitor that way. You can monitor that way. Have you have you found is that is that a, an effective way to monitor as you're going through a lesson? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Just walk around and monitor what the students are doing. Okay. And you could give anybody a test at the end of the week. Some people are not good test takers. So as they're practicing and you're going through, you can see what exactly they are gaining. Okay, good. Um, so, so just to summarize, mm -hmm. um, if you were going around and interviewing students at the end of the day, uh, what would you want to tell them? To tell, what would you want them to tell you to make you know? Hey, I really understood this content. First thing after we do the reading is okay. Tell me what the author's purpose was with this text. Okay. That is that was my main goal to begin with. Tell me what it was, and then I would be like, okay. So what kind of structure? Now that we have the purpose down, are they doing problem and solution, cause and effect? Um, and sometimes I would throw in, and what does this picture have to do with what we are looking at? Okay. And so um, Exit tickets are always in the field. Okay. They, um, this text, I, I don't think I brought this up. Is this informational text? It's or informational. It informational text. Yeah, it's, for, it's on Frederick Douglass. Okay. And are you going to give an, ass an assessment uh, for this? I am giving an assessment Okay, for this. so how? Like, what, is, what does the assessment look like? Or um, It's basically questions that we had gone over through the CPOMs. Okay. So they did their practice. I am taking questions from their practice. Okay. Um, and I am assessing them that way. Okay, so you, you have the knowledge, uh, you have the content, you check for their background knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna check for understanding, check at, for understanding. as the lesson goes by. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to give them an assessment and so the next time we meet or we talk about this we can go into activities what activities like would you have the students do for this um, content i do like think pair share okay so as they are reading they can get together um collaborate on what you know what is the purpose of this text so each of them can look and say you know the author is trying to convey um information to us about you know for frederick Douglass, um slavery and his way out of slavery, um, that it was problem and solution when they're looking at text structure because okay. it was a huge problem for him. Okay. Um, so think pair share where they can bounce ideas off of each other. That's good, really good. Uh, one more final thought. How does a content planning lesson uh, feel as opposed to a lesson plan? Well, a lesson plan is like just an overview of what you're gonna do. The content is actually like digging deep into how you are going to teach this okay it's more of a okay so here's your lesson plan this is what we're doing today you know we're gonna have our bell ringer we're gonna have this but content is like digging deep and grasping um hopefully giving them information they're gonna grasp okay and th this is what you want them to know this is what you want them to learn specifically absolutely okay well i i think that's it um i really appreciate your time and Thank you. i know everything's gonna rock with the lesson Yes, it will. And the content. Thank you. Thanks.